hello friends today in this video we will be building a camera selfie app inside react.js application so you can see the demo of the screen demo of the app in the browser here so you will see it has access to my web camera inside my laptop and there is a simple button out there which is take selfie here and you can also see a clear image button also if i click this button and you will see it will capture the image the still image and you can right click this image save this image onto your machine here so it will save it as a png image so you can open this image like this so very simple app but uh, really effective and if you want to clear this image you can click this button to clear out this image so you can take as many selfie as you want here in as many pose here so you will see so this is the application that we will we will be building in uh, pure react chairs we will not be using any third party library we will be using typical javascript and canvas in order to replicate this so all the source code regarding this application will be there inside video description i have given this blog post link here in the video description so you will see this is the app.js file this is all the source code which is there if you want this source code you can go to the video description link so now to get started we will write the code from scratch so you will see if i refresh it nothing it will be there so let me make this application so first of all you need to make a react chase project for making the react chase project you will execute this command npx create react app followed by your uh, app name and after that you need to install bootstrap npmi bootstrap after installing it just execute the command which is npm start so it will start your application at port number 3000 so you will see localhost 3000 so the very first thing we need to do is that we need to import the react dependency from react and then we need to have our functional component which is function app and here we will just say return in a div let's suppose hello world and at last we will say export default app so you if you write this code here you will see if i refresh it you will see hello world being printed out on the browser here and uh, now we will import some more dependency which is bootstrap for our user interface so for importing bootstrap we only need the css file so import bootstrap slash dist slash css slash bootstrap main dot css so you need to write this line at the very top in order to import bootstrap now we can use bootstrap classes so inside this parent div we can attach container class and and inside this we will have a h1 heading which we will be giving a class of text center so this will place it in the center of the screen so here we will say selfie app in react.js and now if i refresh it right here at the center of the screen you will see selfie app in react.js printed out now we need to let the user web camera so i need to have some kind of mechanism so that i can get access to user uh, web camera so for doing this we will have to have video tag inside that we will display that stream so we will give it a container here and this is a video tag so this we will be attaching a ref attribute which is a ref attribute and we are here we will put here video ref so video ref is kind of a reference to the video which we will be displaying here so we for this we will declare some variables here at the very top video ref and we will be making use of two hooks which is uh, use ref and this will automatically being imported from react library you will see use ref here and the initial value of it will be null and similarly we will have the second photo ref variable this is or also will be use ref and the initial value will be null so photo ref will be actual photo which will be captured whenever you hit the selfie button and now we need to get access to user web camera 
so for doing that we will make use another hook which is use effect so basically it is automatically being imported here you, you'll see so use effect is a function which will automatically trigger whenever your application start and here we will say get user camera <coughs> so this is a custom function that we will execute and in the second parameter you need to write here inside square brackets video ref so this is depending upon this video ref variable if the video ref is set then only this will execute so now we need to execute this function get user camera and here what we need to do is that we will say navigator dot media devices dot get user media and inside this this is a typical syntax whenever you want to get access to web camera of any user you will write this line which is navigator api so this is pure javascript navigator dot media devices get user media and inside this you will put video to true because you want the video of the user simply and if you just do this so what it it will happen you will see now it is you can see this tab is using your camera or microphone so this is using your microphone and uh, now to display it this will return a promise so we can catch it using then and it, stream will be automatically passed here so what we can do is that we can attach this stream to the video tag so here what we can do is that we can get the reference let video and we can get video ref dot current using dot current we will get the reference and now to attach it is it is very easy video dot source object is equal to uh, stream and then we need to play it we need to play the video we will say video dot play that's it in any sort of error take place dot catch we have this and then we can say console error error that's it so this is the code guys if i refresh it you will see my web camera is there you will see this if i just zoom out you will see this is the web camera is accessible here now we can simply have a button here which will actually capture the image whenever we click this snap button so right here in the markup we can now have a button which will be take selfie and then we can attach a class name to it or bootstrap which is btn btn danger and also container so this will have a full screen button of take selfie after that guys we can display it inside the canvas so here we will display it and again this will have a ref reference attribute and here we will pass photo ref that's it the photo ref which we have declared here so right here inside this button guys we will attach a on click event handler so whenever we click this button we need to execute this custom method which is take picture so now we need to make this method here right here to take picture of user so this will be a arrow function so take picture so now inside this function guys what we will do is that we need to first of all initialize the width and height of uh, image so const sorry we can say let width this you can provide any value this is totally depending upon you i am providing 500 of the image width and height i will calculate by width divided by 16 divided by 9 so that is so this value will be coming out random value every time the height of the image after that we need to get the reference to the photo which we can do this by photo ref dot current and also to the video tag as well so video ref dot current and now guys what we need to do is that we need to set <coughs> the photo width and height so photo width will be equal to actual width that we have provided here 
and photo height will be equal to the height that we have calculated that's it <coughs> after doing that guys what we need to do is that we need to actually get the context the context will be there photo dot get context method we will use and here we will get the 2d context and after getting this context we can draw a image actually on the screen and here we need to pass the video tag actual video tag to which we will take the snapshot you will see this is a video tag we are passing and then we will pass the actual location 0 comma 0 this is x and y coordinate and then is the width and height so this will be photo dot width and photo dot height that's it so this is it it will actually draw the image on the screen so this code is complete this function is complete now we can test this if i click this button take selfie now you will see this has successfully taken the picture and now it is displaying it so now we can make it a little more nicer here by attaching a class of container so now you will see it will now be, be, become bigger like this so you can right click save this image on your computer you will see it will save as a png image so again you can take another selfie here like this so now we have a simple selfie app here so we just are remaining a simple clear button so after this canvas we can have a simple clear button 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 primary and here we will say the label will be simply clear image so now you will see this is a clear image button so we also need to attach container so it will make a full screen button here you will see so when i press this button i need to delete this image from the screen so that i can do it simply by attaching a on click event handler so here we will say clear image so simply i will write this function here right here so this will clear out the image from the screen so here we will say clear image so this will be a callback oh sorry arrow function so here what we will say we will get the reference of the photo tag photo reference dot current and then we will again want to get the context so photo dot get context 2d context you will get after getting the context it is very easy there is a method out there which is context dot clear rectangle and here we will pass 0 comma 0 photo dot width and photo dot height so this we have calculated so this is the advantage of using useref uh, hooks inside react js application it makes the job very much easy in order to store the references of variables so now if i refresh the application if i take a selfie here and if i want to clear it simply clear it and now you will see the image will be gone you can see so this is a simple selfie app guys we have developed in react js from scratch using navigator api in browser using simple javascript and the concept of react hook and we have used specifically the use effect and use ref hook if you want to get all the source code you can go to the video description link I have provided all the source code and please hit the like button subscribe the channel and also comment on this video and I will be seeing you in the next video.